Children in Bristol don't all come from Bristol. They come from all over the world. When they get here, they meet other Bristol children whose parents come from all over the world. Together, they come with their experience, their expertise, and sometimes their trauma. When it comes to education, they all have to acclimatize, to fit in, to adjust, in order to make a difference. For some, the first thing to do is learn English. For others, the task is more daunting. They have to learn how to learn. Educators will tell you that every child should reach their potential in school. In this eight-part series, we're going to explore best practice in Bristol schools. Why is it that educational attainment among black and other children who are not white British is not generally as high as their peers? Professor Leon Tickley from Bristol University's School of Education and his team went in search of the answer. I spoke with head teachers, teachers, parents and students. I'm also going to talk with role models in the community to find out how they overcame barriers. But first of all, I want to draw your attention to a very important term of reference. The term BME, or Black and Minority Ethnic, was coined about 25 years ago to describe all cultural groups. But I'd like to introduce a new term, GM, Global Majority. When you consider that one in three children in Bristol come from cultural groupings, they can hardly be described as a minority. So, Global Majority children will be the focus here. We'll look at existing best practice and how to raise educational attainment. The ultimate aim, of course, is to make the difference in education. <laughs> 